Splendid choice, yes, indeed. The Bird Who Was Afraid of Heights. Created and written by Taylor Brandon. Spring arrived. New life was everywhere. In the trees, baby birds jumped into the air. One bird was the sight of all sights. Named Polly, he was afraid of heights. Scared, Polly looked down at the ground. I'm not stepping out of this nest, he frowned. But he didn't have a choice in the matter. Thanks to his nosy neighbor's chit-chatter, she told Polly's mother to do what was best. And that meant pushing Polly out of his nest. Polly's face filled with dread. Please, mind your own business, he said. Polly's mother adored him. Her heart was full of love. But her neighbor was right. So she gave him a shove. She said, You'll be fine, Polly. I wouldn't lie. Why, you're a bird. Come on, let's see you fly. <laughs> Polly stuck out his wings and yelled, Geronimo! Somehow, he floated down to the forest below. Looking into the air, he saw the other birds up high. Too scared to join them, he walked off with a sigh. <sighs> he wasn't looking where he was bound and fell into a hole in the ground. <laughs> Landing inside the hole, Polly saw quite a sight. It was a mole with a miner's cap with a bright light. The mole said, I'm Mo, and I don't mean to pry. But what's a bird doing down here instead of up in the sky? Polly said he was afraid to take off into the wild blue yonder. So the ground is the place I'm now forced to wander. Mo said, I don't blame you for staying on the ground. It's safer than being up in the sky flapping around. <laughs> Deep underground is even safer yet. Surrounded by dirt is your best bet. Polly cried. I have to fly. It's meant to be. Please, Mo. He asked. Can you help me? Mo said, No, I can't. I'm not your man. But I do know someone who can. He can help you with your problem. He's a regular Mr. Solvum. And I'll take you. Otherwise, your crying will cause a flood. And although I love dirt, the mole joked, I hate mud. <coughs> Past the Breakaback Hills and the Wilderbrook Falls lives old Solomon, who is the wisest of the owls. That night, Mo led the way with the light from his hat. They climbed the Breakaback Hills and did just that. They passed the Wilderbrook Falls. That watery threat, both Mo and Polly were covered with water and sweat. Soon they were there, Polly's heart filled with glee. Solomon, the wisest of all owls, was perched in a tree. Polly said, Great one, I'm the reason we're here. I'm afraid the reason has to do with fear. The fear is mine, and mine alone, to be exact. I'm afraid of heights, and that is the sad but true fact. But I'm sure my troubles will soon be past. With your help, I will be flying at last. Solomon said, I'm sorry you've come here. For I can't help you overcome your fear. For only you alone hold the key to unlock your fear and set yourself free. Polly shrugged and looked at Mo. But, he asked, when will I know? 
the owl said, When the time is right. With that, Solomon lifted off and took flight. I wonder what he meant by that, Polly said. We came for an answer, but got a riddle instead. <laughs> Our friends got ready for the long walk back. Turning, they saw a fox looking for a snack. The fox said, I heard you say you were afraid to fly. Great, for I want to try a new dish. Bird and mole pie. <laughs> Whom I'll be eating first really won't matter. I'll use one of you for filling, the other for the batter. I'll mix the two of you together in a giant bowl. Why, I won't know if I am eating bird or mole. <laughs> the fox licked his lips and lunged at the pair. Mo pulled Polly up a tree, grabbing him by the hair. Polly! You're afraid of heights, so cover up each eye, because it's either this or we're bird and mold pie. <laughs> the fox called our pals dirty little so-and-sos and a this and a that. They got away, he said. Why, they have more lives than a cat. <laughs> Our pals were at the treetop. The branches began to sway. Mo said, Kid, fly us out of here. It's the only way. The fox chuckled. They are going to fall. I guess somebody up there likes me after all. <laughs> Mo's branch broke, making a snapping sound. He yelled, I knew it was safer underground! The fox watched Mo tumble down from the blue. Hmm, should I swallow that metal hat of his too? Yes, the fox concluded. I think that I'll try it. One can never get enough iron in his diet. <laughs> Opening his eyes, Polly noticed his friend's plight. He repeated Solomon's last words. When the time is right! Polly took off. He flew! He flew! Yes! He flew to save you-know-who. <coughs> Mo was headed toward the fox's open jaws. Gravity, he said, is my least favorite of Newton's laws. Swooping downward with style and grace, Polly snatched Mo from in front of the fox's face. Mo was wearing a smile from ear to ear. He asked Polly how he overcame his fear. Polly said, Saving you was the only thing on my mind. That allowed me to leave my problems behind. Solomon was right. We can release our fear inside. It's that or spend our lives looking for a place to hide. Polly and Mo flew off and vanished into the blue. Polly overcame his fear. And so, my friends, so can you. The End Click to subscribe. Visit back soon for our next adventure.